Soraka. 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 Such great potential. It's probably not great potential though. Guide you. There we go. Four damage. Okay. How is your flock, little shepherd? They're strong oh. every day, just like me. Go no further. Be at peace. You cry landmark play. I'm going on effects. The possibilities are infinite. First time you heal damage ally each round, draw one support for the heal me and my support allies. Huh. By the power of the stars. Rejoiced. Can you hear what damage ally give it a loose at this round? Ooh! That might be a little much. Yeah, and then it gets... Wow. It's elusive on the heals. Okay. Alright, let's see the cards that Soraka has. Come on. There you go. So heal damage ally. Um, that means a three drop one six, which is okay. It's bald equivalent to like a three drop three four. Yeah, three drop three four. Roughly. Sure, pure healing there. Soraka's wish. Fully heal damage allies. Shuffle Soraka into your deck. Wait a minute. Fully heal damaged allies. Like, at the end of a turn, that's pretty strong. Like, really strong, actually. That, yeah. Yeah. Heal an ally four and granted plus four. So, basically, that's, like, eight. At bare minimum, it's eight. Wow. So, it can take, like, eight damage. And then, when you said damage, I give it a loose. So, this is kind of, this, I don't think this should be in this part. Like, this, this seems like this is in the wrong area. This, to make this elusive, and then you have elusive healers. Yeah, you can make heal aggro, like a serious heal aggro kind of situation going on. Alright, what's the other cards? Uh, there it is. Uh, star, spring, round end, heal damage, allies one. Then, once I've seen you heal 22 damage, from allies win the game. Okay, so if you you have to heal you have to heal more damage than their nexus can actually have. That it kind of makes sense then, yeah. The damage you actually do because the damage you can do to a nexus is twenty. With this, you go to twenty two, so there's more damage. So it makes sense, yeah. So there's an alternate win con. This is interesting. Fully heal, so it's a slow. It's a slow. Hmm. Spring Guardian, but I'm summoning create a spring gift in hand. Okay, one time, one time, one time. So it creates this then. Oh, it's just a token. This is just a token then. Yeah, completely, it's just a token. Interesting. Virgin Path, do a landmark or destroy a landmark. This seems a little bit. Um, could you draw one? You're drawing a specific card, so it's a tutor for three, which is good. And then you have destroy a landmark, so it's a destruction of a thing for three, which is also good. It's like a three, like a three drops, uh, vengeance. It's like a three drop vengeance. It's really good. Just to straight up like kill a landmark. That's really good. And then if you, if they don't have landmarks, then you just draw your landmark. So that's just good. This is just a super versatile card. Yeah, like no matter what, like it's it's just a good card. It's not like oh, I picked this part and then I picked this part and then it didn't work. Yeah, um, interesting. Okay. Yeah, it comes down. Straight up heals. Wow. Okay. And all random old mid. All random old mid. All right. What's this? Seven. Pura. Ah, 
Howling Abyss, start round, create in hand, random level 2 champion that's not in hand, deck or play. Cost 7. Wait, that uh, 3 drop just like annihilates this card because it's round start. Wait. Yeah, it's like if you just play this and then they play like that landmark destruction just like on point. Ah, oh, that's rough. That's a rough thing to see. Because it's not like Vengeance. Vengeance, like, it takes basically your, almost your entire turn to play Vengeance. This took your turn to play this card to do basically nothing until, like, you have to wait to the next turn. So, yeah. Any bad, like, level twos? Think of? Um, maybe. That's really cool, though. So that plays out. Voices of the Old Ones. Get two empty mana gems. For the top four cards in your deck, draw each card that costs eight or more, then shuffle the rest into your deck. I mean, it is an eight drop. You get two empty mana gems, and they're permanent. So this is just straight up ramp. So on turn five, you can get this and go straight into, so your next turn will be turn eight. From, so it'll be from five to eight. Yeah, it could be five, yeah, six, seven, yeah. Then your next turn will be straight to eight. So you go, you go, woo! That's pretty hot. Pretty hot there. Hot take. Yeah, that's pretty hot take. Interesting. It could be really good or really, really bad. Because you're going for eight. Um, Five drop. Sneaky. So Targon's getting more elusives now. Interesting. Play. Stun two enemies with two or less power. Okay. So you can like just try to pop in real quick. But it's still elusive though, so. It can work, but it's not really see them being that like viable. Crystal Abax, four drop, four, four. Play Grant and Ally over one. Grant, too. This is just good. It's a four drop, four, four, so stats wise is amazing. Like just perfect, just perfect one, and then it gives overwhelm, which is strictly good. You give something overwhelm, that's just better. So this is just a, a just a good card. This is like a, a auto include, pretty much. All right, yeah. Okay, so big thing is going to be to that breaker thing. This guy breaks cards. Not that. Uh, is this this one? Oh, no, it's this, this ain't good, this ain't good, this ain't good. It is this one, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Because, I mean, this makes sense as a two drop, and then you have a three drop to just tutor that out. That's just easy. This, but... This card here is kind of, this is kind of ridiculous. Because, one, it either helps your thing go, right? So you, you tutor out your landmark, or... It destroys your opponent's landmark. So this is just a good card. This is just a useful, versatile card. Like there's, there's no real downside in this card unless you like you drew all your landmarks, or your opponent has no landmarks, or, or you have no landmarks and your opponent has no landmarks. But if that's the case, then why would you even play this card? Why would you even have it in the deck if that's the case? Like this, this is just a good card. This straight up just a good card. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So this is gonna be the the hate tool to stop landmarks, but still, it's only in Targon. It's gonna be interesting to see. So, Soraka and some other stuff. Soraka and yeah, it's okay. Can't say to see what the next bunch come up to. All right, nice.